uh, ilikuwa birthday yangu on uh, 4th of September na nikachukua simu nikamwandikia baba ujumbe akaniambia alikuwa ameenda uh, Zambia and wakati alitoka Zambia akanipigia simu akaniambia here I am uh, unataka aje nikamwambia uh, your excellency would want you to grace my occasion akaniuliza uh, how old are you nikamwambia uh, your excellency i'm 22 and he was like oh you are you the youth and uh, his love for the youth uh, ilionyeshana wakati alikuja birthday ya kijana ambaye hajui kijana ambaye ni wa, I am a village boy and alikuja hadi mashinani na akakuja birthday yangu so your excellency thank you for believing in youth leadership and uh, their capability to transform uh, i wanna thank you uh, hiyo wakati fupi nimejua his excellency kuna mambo tatu nime, nime soma kwake he is this leader who listens he is this leader who can transform wakati alikuja alinipea ngombe ile ngombe ilikuwa imebakisha miezi tatu izae na on on 1st of january 2022 ile ngombe uh, delivered and uh, ikapata ik, ik uh, ndama wa kiume na watu uh, sasa kwa sababu ni azimio la umoja ile ndama tukaita azimio <laughs> na nataka kusema asante sana tena your excellency na ya mwisho ambayo ya, ya baba kitu ya tatu nili, nimesoma kwake he is this man that believes uh, and uh, respect his maker mimi kuna ma, ma, wakati mara mbili tumeenda na baba na before adi, kuna siku tulikuwa tuna have breakfast and uh, before we nikaenda kukula and he was like oh let us first say thank you to our maker he is this man who believes in God and asante sana and may the almighty God continue leading your path and ya mwisho kabisa uh, ningetaka kusema hapa tuko kwa kikuyu na your excellency the governor and mheshimiwa Peter Kenneth you can translate it to mzee and yetione uh, duano etahetagia so kwa ile heshima umefanyia your excellency the president na kwa ile heshima umekuja hapa mount kenya tunataka kukuambia this time round we gonna pay it back and your excellency vijana's got your back asante ni sasa mimi nataka kusema nilikuwa hapo nitakuja kuona hiyo ngombe hiyo ndama inaitwa azimio Tunakushukuru sana Gidi. Sasa tuko karibu kumaliza. Uh, lakini mnajua kuna watu kadhaa ambao wamekuwa na baba through the thick and the thin. Kuna watu wengine hata mali yao iliharibiwa ingine ikachomwa kwa kuwa na baba. Na sisi wengine hatu kukua tuna understand hawa watu wanaenda upande gani. Sasa ningetaka kuita mmoja hapa dakika tano. Aseme ni nini alikuwa ameona hapo mbereni ambao sisi hatu kukua tumeona na tumeona sasa. Mheshimiwa Mumbingaru dakika tano. tuambie ulikuwa umeona nini? ambao hatukuona ambao tunaona wakati huu tafadhali dakika tano uh, your excellency the fifth i am the most excited person to call raila hamoro odinga the fifth it gives me joy i have worked with him for now 21 years and right honorable karibu 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 thika i welcomed you in thika when i was mayor and you can remember the hail of stones that has coated you out of thika today the governor could not even fit 
a budget for people who wanted to welcome you here. I know he struggled, but it is by God's grace. It's, it's God's time. It's God's favor. It is God's favor. After I left Thika as the mayor, I joined the party and I was the executive director of the party then, LDP, Repro Democratic Party, that joined with NAC to form the NAC coalition. And after that, he moved me to ODM after the first referendum at 2005. I stayed with him. I still know what we went through. And the greatest thing that is happening to Kenya today is the hardship. After I stayed, after I became the Prime Minister, he nominated me through ODM to be a member of the East African Legislative Assembly. I served for five years. And then he decided I should come back and continue with his work in his office as a political advisor managing the Mount Kenya region and other parts of the country. Your Excellency, I am not alone. I don't know what uh, the, when people talk about tribalism, I know in your office we are all tribes. We have people from all tribes. We have Wakamba, we have Wakisi, we have Wasomari, we have Luyas. Actually, we call it United Nations. We call his office United Nations. And the best thing that has happened to Kiambu today is that you have ac accepted Bwana Governor to come and launch this Baba Mashinani to move out to the, uh, the, the mountain region. I don't want to take the privilege of asking the others to come because they are here. Baba will introduce teams of Kikuyu uh, from the whole country who have worked with him. And I'm sure you will understand he is not a tribalist. The last one. Because I was a Kikuyu just like you. And therefore, what is this that made, uh, made me stay? I want to say this because it is, I think it is important. I was asked by our people, I dared ask him, uh, especially in 2007, and uh, I called him Nyadiwa. Nyadiwa in, uh, is my brother. And I told him, Nyadiwa, you are going to get this thing. What will you do with people from where I come from, who you know you have rubbed, they, they are not sure, they, they, they don't accept you. I learned a lesson that I practice even today. Baba, thank you because you told me, Nyokuyu, that's what he calls me, and that's the name he gave me. Never allow yourself to be a slave of anger. And, and, and he expounded it. He said, when you get angry with somebody, that person after that period is gone, he actually forgets that he annoyed you. But whenever you see that person, you are the slave of anger and you will never move any uh, forward. He has practiced it. He has practiced that because he said Tosha, he said, come we shake hands. And even now, he has brought Azimiola Umoja because he sees the country as a unified country, as, you know, the Kenyans that we want to be. The last one, he also advised me as a woman, never be a slave of anything, not only anger, 
He loved and said, you are also a slave of love. You are also a slave of Kanisa. You are also a slave of many other things. Baba, thank you so much. Welcome. We have learned from you. And we are now you are in Thika, Karibu, and Karibu, Kwa Mount Kenya. Nashkuru. Hi, hi. Watcha to begin. Mea Ambaya Rikua Wadika Makofi. To begin Makofi, Mumiki Mumikera. We now want to finish, and I, have, I know I've said that several times. Uh, we, we, okay, go ahead. And Tennisana Baba Meniruhusu, I call out uh, Paul Mwangi, Wakiri Kutoka Officia, uh, wave to the people. Rosemary Karioki, our director of uh, 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 registration. We have John Maynard, director, former director of diaspora. Thank you very much. We have uh, uh, we have apologies. Uh, Jane Wangoi is hospitalized. She. Uh, thank you. We have Kamau Mweha, Kamau Araida, wherever you are. Thank you very much. We have uh, we absent with the poroje. Mike Rubia is our representative of the Mount Kenya region in NEC. Then we have uh, those who left us, who worked with Baba, who were nominated, and then politics, la la la. We had Bishop Mangret Wanjiro, we had Isaac Mwaura, we have the late Jao Nyaga, and we have those who live in Nairobi, uh, Stephen Karioki, you call him K1. All those people are from Mount Kenya region. And thank you so much, Baba. I have made. And Rachel Shabesh was supposed to be here. She has given an apology. She was nominated the first time in Parliament. She, is, she has been one of us. And now she is coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mumbi. We really want to observe time because, you know, we have the, the other rally there and we don't want people to be tired there. And we want to hear what Baba has to tell us. But he tells me that I cannot stop until I invite Anne Karioki, who is another of those that has worked with Baba. Anne, I hope you are around. Please, I'm giving you one and a half minutes because I know where you come from. And one and a half minutes is so long. I know you'll be able to communicate. And Tafadali. And Muzungu. <laughs> Habari. Hamujambo. Good afternoon. Si watu wakiambu tumesoma. Good afternoon. Uh, nitaongea na, ki, na kimombo kwa jile watu wakiambu wamesoma. We are not just into business. Hata tunasoma. Uh, Sio ni kweli. So I'm very happy and very honored to be invited to talk or to talk here this is a great occasion and baba thank you so much i've worked with baba it's been a long journey and now we are we're in the final lap we are here i'm from the diaspora i live in philadelphia i'm here and i'm usually here during election period to come and help baba baba is a great leader and Kenya is so blessed to have baba before I even say anything, able to pick up my coffee, the roads that we used to come here, Baba is the one who drew those roads. He had a vision. Infrastructure is everything. Asante. Sasa Villa Baba, he has a vision for Kenya. Development is key to him. Kenya should have been way ahead. He's experienced, he has skills, he's forgiving, he's a unifying factor. Nani kama baba? Ebu ni muangia swahili kwa jili ya yeye. Nani kama baba? Siski? Nani kama baba? So I'm very happy that Kenya is going to get a great leader. I'm here to make sure that Kiambu delivers baba presidency we are on the ground and we are going to deliver 
Atani John, who is joining me in this journey, this final lap, we have to deliver. Ebu diona mikono ya wale wanade watakuwa na sisi. Kiambu for Baba. Ebu Ebu repeat after me. Kiambu for who? Are we going to deliver? Raise up your hands. We are going to get the most, the best leader that Kenya has, has has had since independence. We are so blessed, and I'm glad I'm going to be part of that journey. Be part of that journey and make history. Asante ni sana. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. I know Anne. We've worked together, and I know what she's saying is true. Sasa, tukiataka kufanya jabu moja kabla atuja muita baba atuongereshe. Vile tulikaa hapa na vile nimesema tuliangalia mambo yetu na vile ile maneno ambao mumesikia hawa watu wakiongea tumeiweka not in a name of you tumeiweka kwa declaration declaration ambayo tutafanya hapa tukitoka hapa tuwe tume declare sisi kama watu ya kiambu, wa Kiambu readers the way forward ningetaka tuchukue less than 3 minutes to sign hiyo declaration tuambiwe inasema nini alafu tu sign ili ni muitie ile mtu ambaye atatuitia baba e, tafadhali mnyui chukua hiyo is chukue more than 3 minutes tafadhali thank you very much. Thank you very much, Excellency. Uh, like my good governor has said, this is not our name or you. It's not a memorandum of understanding because we did memorandum of understanding pre Azimio. So as guys have moved forward, now we are post Azimio. So we are saying this is our thing, Azimio is us. We are part of it, an integral part of it. So we are doing a declaration of support for Baba, for the next pre the president of the Republic of Kenya, the fifth. And we are doing so because we have interacted with the 10 points of Azimio agenda and we appreciate that they are going to resolve our issues. So this declaration kindly is going to be read by this young man that uh, Baba has supported in one way or the other. And then shortly after that is going to be signed over there. And I'm requesting the Mwishimua Mwadi and there is an MCA, our governor, and the, the young men and women and the ladies and the gentleman who spoke earlier here will be part of the signing team so that then we can hand it over to Baba. Thank you. A Kiambu County Declaration of Support for Azimio Laumoja, 15th January 2022 at Vika. Today we held a fruitful consultation meeting with Right Honorable Raila Odinga and the other members of Azimio La Umoja on the various issues facing the county and Mount Kenya region in general. We Kiambu County leaders comprom comprising of representatives of youths, women, people with disability, the business community, political leaders, professionals, clergy and other interest groups are happy to have hosted you in our county today. Having interacted with and understood Azimio 10 points agenda, we affirm our strong support for Azimio Laumoja and Raila Odinga's presidential bid as our best, our best bet for realization of our socio-economic political aspirations. Today, we identify the Azimio Laumoja as the most solid political partner that has committed to address the following uh, pertinent issues that are dear to our country and region. Peace, stability, and safety. We support Azimio Laumoja as the coalition that assures us of the safety of our people and uh, uh, property of our people property in part of the country without fear. We reject and condemn the divisive politics of Madoadoa characterized by reckless politicians, uh, political statements, we, the country bands, when the country bands, it is our people who suffer the most, while some, some pay the ultimate price. Azimio stands for Moja, not Madoadoa. Not Ngoa Madoadoa. Fair representation and resource allocation. We declare support for Raila Odinga as the candidate who has pledged support for the one man, one vote, one shilling principle to address the grassroots and representation and unfair resource allocation to Kiambu County and the entire Mount Kenya region and ensure Kiambu the strong highest 
populous county get its fair share and resource and adequate representation. The economy. We recognize that our, eco that our economic issues as Kiambu and Mount Kenya region are complex and cannot be solved by a mere slogan, handouts and wheelbarrows. We need tangible practical policies that will spur our uh, economy, not empty rhetorics. We strongly support the economic growth and recovery plan that Azimio Lomoja proposes to roll out to ensure all Kenyans enjoy sheer prosperity. We have faith that Raila Odinga's commitment to address issues be developing agriculture, which is a mainstay of Kiambu economy, particularly tea, coffee, and milk subsector. In equal measures, Azimio has demonstrated a commitment to address business and in industry in our region by formulating business friend friendly policies and reviewing the tax regime. Uh, we command the Kazi Kowote proposal by Azimio Lomoja as it will go a long way in addressing massive unemployment, especially among the youths, which remains one of the biggest challenges in our region. The Right Honorable uh, Raila Odinga has already shown commitment in supporting our agriculture economy by pushing for agriculture reforms in Parliament. We, condemn, we commend Raila vote to deal with corruption ruthlessly. We, we, we lose 10% of our GDP through corruption. We cannot create new economic models without addressing the massive hemorrhage of uh, public funds. Continuity. Uh, we welcome uh, the commitment by Right Honorable Raila Odinga to complete the project initiated by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta in our region and the promise to roll out more development. As a region, we have benefited from a uh, critical development project which have opened up the region for invest, uh, investment and growth and we look forward for uh, uh, the expansion of the same. Finally, we call on all people of Mount Kenya to choose the side of unity and continuity and support Raila Odinga as the safe pair of hands to pick up from His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and take us to the next level of economic prosperity. Kiambu today, we declare, Kiambu today declares Inawezekana. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we shift our focus to this table. It's going to be a two minute. So I request Honorable Mwadi to come closer here and all the speakers that uh, give their versions of the issues and the responses that have been met uh, by, through the Azimio 10 points agenda. Then we have the uh, Deputy Minority Leader and our Governor. Thank you very much, uh, representing members of the National Assembly, members of the Senate, that is Parliament in general. Uh, Honorable Peter Mwadi, MP Limuru, I propose. Ahu Kaniaru, appending her signature. Ahu Kaniaru, I second. Uh, before the next one signs, let's confirm Kiambu people. Are we in agreement with what has been said? It should have come before. But are we in agreement with the, the memorandum of support or declaration of support? To kwa mekona tafadhali so that we don't look like we are representing ourselves. Thank you very much.
powers is not an MOU. We believe in Azimio. We are members of Azimio. So we are telling Baba we are going to support you unconditionally. When you get in there, Baba, those are small issues. We know our government has done a lot. Let us sort that one out and we are happy. We are going to be a happy people as Kambu people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Baba, kututembelea. Tunashukuru sana. Tunashukuru sana. Tafadhali. Santi Baba. Santi Baba. Thank you. Moving forward, now I hand it back to His Excellency Governor James Nyoro so that he can take it to the next level. Santi, kindly give me the mic, please. Sana nafikiria hiyo imekuwa climax mzuri ya declaration yetu kwa sababu sasa tugetaka kumaliza ili tuelekee upande ule lakini hatuwezi kumaliza kabla uh, sijawaambia my colleague governors are here uh, we have governor 001 uh, governor Joho Hako na sisi, tumbigia makofi. Chuko na uh, uh, Profesa Nyang Nyong, Gavana wa Kisumu, tumbigia makofi. Chuko na Gavana Derito Mureithi, Chairman wa Board, tumbigia makofi. Uh, na chuko na Gavana uh, Oparanya wa Kakamega, tumbigia makofi na tuko na governor Ongoe eh, governor wa Kisi na ni member wa kamaiti ya board tuko na deputy governor eh, kadha tuko na deputy governor wa Kiambu deputy governor wangu Joyce tuko na deputy governor Karo wa Nyeri ambaye anafanya kazi mzuri sana tuko na deputy governor wa Kisumu eh, Matthew na mwaneki deputy governor wa Laikipia sasa tumebaki mambo mawili. Kama vile mnaona tunafanya consultation. Wakati huu ningetaka kumuita our cabinet secretary for agriculture Mheshimiwa Munya dakika bili awasalimie. Rafiki yangu Sies Munya waziri dakika mbili salimia hawa watu. Asante sana governor. Mheshimiwa Raila Molo Ndinga the fifth viongozi wote wale tuko nao siku ya leo wananchi wote wakiambua mjamboni Mjamboni tena yangu ni machache sana kwanza ni mshukuru baba kwa hii mpangilio yake ya kuenda kila eneo akizungumza na waenyeji wa eneo hilo ndio waweze kujua mashinda yao kuna wengine kampeni yao ni kuzunguka tu kwa market bila hata kuongea na watu wajue shinda ni nini huko ni kuendelea tu kuzunguza wao wenyewe hawajaongea na wenyeji huko wajue nani anaongoza hapa shinda ya hapa ni gani pia baba ni kushukuru kwa partnership ile mmekuwa naye pamoja na president wetu Uhuru Kenyatta. Hii partnership ya kuleta Kenya pamoja. Kwa sababu Kenya itaendelea kama tuna embrace wa Kenya wote. Kenya itaendelea kama kuna wale wa Kenya wanabaguliwa. Kenya itaendelea kama kuna wakanya ambao hawana opportunity ya kujiendelesha. Kwa hivyo tunawashukuru nyenye wawili kwa hii mpango ya azimio ya kuleta wa Kenya pamoja.
Kuna wengine anjenda sao ni kugawa wa Kenya. Ndiyo unaona wakienda hata mikutano wakisema kuna wa Kenya mando wa ndoa. Mkenya anaweza kuwa mando wa ndoa kweli kwake. Hata mgeni yule hako Kenya. Si mando wa ndoa. Hakuna mtu mando wa ndoa. Kwa hiyo hiyo fitina na siasa ya aina hiyo. Baba tunakushukuru wewe umekataa hiyo. Na tunaona vile tunaelekea njana nilikuwa nimezunguka Rift Valley Transoia hata nilikuwa Zoi nilikuwa na governor Kememye huko kwake watu wameanza kubandilika na kushika wewe ile propaganda na kasumba ilikuwa imewekwa inaisha na naona tukielekea kule mbele kila mkenya atakuwa na baba kwa sababu wa Kenya wamekuelewa kama shujaa ambaye amepigania Kenya miaka hii yote na ambaye lengo yake ni kuleta mabadiliko Kenya iende mbele wa Kenya wote wawe na haki zao kwa hivyo sisi tunakuunga mkono tuende namna hiyo legacy ya uhuru Kenyata zile kasi ameendelesha uendelee nazo na uendelee kuongezea Kenya iweze kuenda mbele nikimalizia kuna yale yametajwa ya kilimo ni kweli tumepiga hatua mingi kwa sekta ya kilimo tukiongozwa na president Uhuru Kenyatta. Lakini tunajua bando changamoto siko ambazo tutaendelea kuchangia na wewe kubandilisha. Mapato ya makulima imeongezeka lakini kuna challenges ya competitiveness ya sekta yetu ya kilimo tukikompare na wale wengine. Ndio sababu bitu inakuja mingi huku na sisi hatuwezi kupeleka mingi kule nje. Tumekuwa tukizungumza na wewe Tumekuwa tukipanga transformation ya sekta tukichukia kutoka pale president Uhuru Kenyatta atakuwa amewachia na wewe uweze kuendesha. Na mimi najua mpango ya kilimo uko naye. Ulikuwa unatusaidia hata yale mengine tunafanya na tunajua tukienda mbele sekta ya kilimo itanawiri na watu wa kulima Kenya kwa sababu ni wakulima na watu wa biashara wataenda mbele zaidi. Asante sana mungu wa Asante sana uh, waziri Sasa ningetaka kumuita Mheshimiwa Mwadi atuonyeshe dakika moja kwa heshima ambao wako hapa Mheshimiwa Bunge uh, Mheshimiwa Mwadi tafadhali dakika moja Azimio e eh? Azimio a ah. Wapi makofi ya baba Asante sana yangu ni fupi baba karibu kiambu tumesema wewe ndio utashikilia nchi yetu tukienda mbele a sober mind somebody who is focused nataka kuwatambua ambao tuko nao hapa wabunge ambao tunafanya kazi nao katika bunge la kitaifa nikianza na mheshimiwa Jude Jomo Kiambu constituency makofi tafadhali Kutoka hapo tuko na mheshimiwa Wanjiko wa Kibe Gatundu North Makofi. Alafu tuko na mheshimiwa Mary wa Maua kutoka Maragwa. Aya, anafuatiwa karibu sana na mheshimiwa Peter Kihara wa Madhioya. Aya, mwingine hapo akifuatia karibu ni mheshimiwa Wangari Mwaniki wa Kegumo. Alafu tuko na mheshimiwa wa muziki, mheshimiwa Dwati Ngoge Gataga. Aya ndio hiyo. Ah mwingine tuko naye, tuko na mheshimiwa Manje kutoka Kajiado North. Asante sana. Alafu tuko na mheshimiwa Babu Owino. Embakasi East. Asante sana. Tuko na mzee wetu pale bunge anaitwa mheshimiwa Maina Wakamada. Asante sana. Tuko pia hapa na Senator Chipkizi ambaye ni Senator Youngest, Senator Isaac Gedua Wagoge. Haya makofi kwake. Tuko na mheshimiwa Uh, mpuri ya puri East Africa Legislative Assembly Tuko na mheshimiwa Ngayu Kioni kutoka Ndaragwa Asante sana Tuko pia na mheshimiwa 
Ole Kenta Richard kutoka Narok North. Asanti, Face of Kenya. Tuko na mheshimiwa Honorable Jabir Shakir. Makofi kwake. Ah, tuko na mheshimiwa Ken Chonga kutoka Kilivi South. Tuko na mheshimiwa Sabina Chege Maito wa Muranga. Safi. Alafu tuko na mheshimiwa uh, Junet Mohamed Kinara wa ODM. Na pia tuko na mheshimiwa promoter mwenzake wa BBI kutoka pande ya Dagureti. Mheshimiwa Dennis Waweru. Alafu tuko na mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa Atandi amefika makofi kwake. Na naona mheshimiwa akiingia saa hii mheshimiwa Chachu Ganya makofi. Mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa Mudhama ndio kutoka all the way kutoka Lamu asante sana mheshimiwa Mudhama. Na nikifunga kinara wetu kule bunge Munamujua leader of majority our current sitting prime minister mheshimiwa Amos Kimunya Kipipiri asante makofi kwake asante sana mheshimiwa governor wangu haya asante kwa ruhusa na heshima kuu nimeambiwa na mheshimiwa the fifth president nitambue kwa kipekee mheshimiwa Peter Kenneth ambaye anashikilia kinara kwa karibu. Asante sana kinara wetu. Thank you very much uh, our governor na unge, ungeniruhusu tu najua kuna chama ambaye mlikuwa you are co-chairing with ambaye tuko naye hapa PS Njoroge. PS Njoroge tafadhali. Alafu kuna pia tunafanya kazi kwa karibu let me be selfish a bit we work together in the same docket mheshimiwa Zainabu PS Correctional Services Asante sana Tourism yes thank you very much Asante sana Mungu awabariki Hai tupigie Remuruan makofi tumpigie makofi Asante sana ningetaka tu ku to recognize the presence of uh, Governor Sanga wa huko Siaya alikuwa nimesahau tuko na watu wengine tumpigie makofi tuko na watu wengine wa biashara tuko na watu ya biashara ambao wako hapa naona eh, eh, Richard Gatia na watu wote wa Chambers watu ya Kenya Association of Manufacturers wote wako lakini Mnajua sisi na ambao tuko. Tuna wale ambao wangetaka kutoa sisi. Aspirant wote wasimame. Aspirant wote wasimame. Eh salimieni watu. Eh. Eh, si unaona? Si unaona ni wengi wapigieni makofi. Pigieni makofi. Asanini sana. Sasa tukitaka kukamilisha. Ah, wengine wengine wako upande huu. Eh. Hey. Eh hey, hey, ni wengi kuliko voters. Asanini sana. <laughs> hey, hey. Aspirants ni wengi kuliko voters. Asanini sana. Tungetaka two things sasa ili tumkaribize eh, tukukabilishe baba. Ningetaka kuita eh, majority leader wa National Assembly walifanya kazi mzuri sana. Kama vile mnajua ya zile election eh, bill na tungetaka kumpea dakika mbili ili sasa tukamilishe uh, tuka tumuite baba so uh, mheshimiwa Emos Kimunya karibu uh, ufanye few remarks alafu tuendelee ah uh, your excellency and i have no fear or contradiction in addressing you as the fifth President of the Republic of Kenya.
viongozi wenzangu walio hapa mimi sita kuzungumza mengi because i'll be preaching to the converted tuko hapa sababu tuna tumekubali mwelekeo wa azimio kuna mtu haja kubali tumuombe kuna mmoja tumuombe si zote tuko hapa because we support the azimio movement which is a product of the handshake between Anaburaida Odinga and President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Nataka mtuona kwa mkono whether I'm addressing the right group. Nataka kuona wale wote wanaunga mkono mwelekeo wa azimio into the fifth presidency. Asante. Mimi na shaka. Najua tutamchagua Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga as the fifth president. Aende state house. But a president cannot rule without an effective parliament. Na nimefurahia nimeona aspirants wako wengi. Na sababu nyinyi ni viongozi. Na ndio mtaenda huko mashinani. Na tunazungumza habari ya azimio mtaani. I want to send you back with a special message. Kwamba kama tunataka kumsaidia baba sio tu aingie state house bali pia aweze kufanya ile maneno yote tumempatia na zile memorandum tumempatia Kenya mzima lazima tumsaidie na kuwapatia kumpatia wabunge wa kutosha katika bunge ile bunge ina wabunge 349 tulipoanza in 2000 and 17 the jubilee coalition tulikuwa na wabunge 216 against 133 wengine wamechukuliwa by that conman who conned his way anajiita ni wa jubilee mchana he is deputy president courtesy of jubilee but he is promoting another party That is conmanship. Wamechukuliwa na hata sijui whether they know what they are doing. But because of the handshake between the president and Mheshimiwa Raila Juzi tulipopiga kura katika bunge we had 192 members of parliament. Sasa so, hivi nataka kuhakikishia msifikirie watu wameenda 192 na wengine wanaongezeka wanarudi and it is in four groups 70 within ODM 22 within WIPA 9 within ANC na hao wote within the Jubilee Coalition Now the point I'm making sasa mtachanganywa if tukikubali we are in Kiambu nimeona aspirants wengi Kiambu you have 12 members of parliament mukikubali hawa members wa Kiambu 12 wagawanywe such that they have no common voice hatutakuwa tumemsaidia baba tumekubaliana tumekubaliana Nimemwambia we were able to bring 192 members because nilipoenda kwa Junet alileta watu wake 70. Tukaenda kwa Waipa wakatupatia watu 22. Tukaenda kwa Yusavula akatupatia wa ANC watu 9. Na Mayhuip na yeye akaongeza hao wengine. We need to have not more than those four formations. Kwa hivyo nataka kuahisi. 
The corn man has been going around Akisema Jumiri Mekwisha. It is in his interest to kill Jubiri Aue, the, 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 the power that the president commands in his own region. Jubiri Haijakufa. Jubiri Haijakufa. Wapi wadu wa Jubiri? Wapi wadu wa Jubiri? Your Excellency, you can see when we put you in State House, you will have your ODM wing as part of Azimio. You will have a strong Jubilee as part of Azimio. Now we are sure even the other partners, Watakuja, because the, what we were doing in that loan at Kapigania San, Karibu we Vita, ni tunajenga hiyo nyumba kubwa. Tuyamwe? Tulaka, eh, Mosie. Tuyamwe? No Mosie ni oreke? Idaku. Tuyamwe? Totiketekeria and we are going to revive Jubiri Dio Tuezer Kusaidia Baba Akiita Mutmoja wa Jubiri and Akuja with 80 people. Akiita um, ODM and Awalitea Watu. Akiita Wengine, so he only needs to deal with four people. Sio Watu Miatatu. That is my message to Pereke Uko Nanajua uh, Baba Ataleta Saram Yarais because here, so, si mafuta yangu hei jafika hapo. Akiwa hapa ni that is his job. Lakini tumekuwa, we are very happy, hata juzi, tumemutuona, tumeenda kusherekea hiyo ushindi and the revival of a new coalition under the Azimio, now with 192 members of parliament strong, going to 200. Dio tapeli na watu wake, we can chase them out of town, they will never get to approve anything in that parliament. Asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki. Asante. Santi, Santi, e waja tupigia tu majority Bakofi, wanajua walifanya kazi mzuri sana Sasa mimi Nafasi yangu inafika mwisho Najua Ningetaka kulikoganize Rafiki yangu, Oburu Odinga, ako hapa Tumpigia Bakofi Na hiko jambu lingine Nisipofanya, mimi Sita kuwa kwa kazi kesho I want to recognize all my members of the county assembly, Ebusi Mameni Mahari Muko, members of county assembly ya Kiambu, na members of county assembly zote, ni mewa recognize. Sasa mimi ni kataka kufikisha hapo, kwa sababu mafuta yangu kama vile eh, majority ya mesema mafuta yangu sasa imefika hapo, nataka sasa kumkaribisha chairman wa board, election board ya baba, his Excellency Governor Derito Murevi ili amkaribishe baba atuongeleshe alafu tuendelee kutoka hapo Chairman Karibu Asante sana um, Asante sana Governor wa Kiambu Nidegio Muno Adwa Kiambu na Muranga na Kirimageyothe na Gemeleyothe Muriega Muri aseo. Muga. Muga kairi. Ewe huli na iru hikirima. Uira wakwa ni muhugumu no. Todu no ukimuli ya tiriri ya doa kirima. Gide muthu uriyo ruti kiwe tetosha. Kane ya tenyui. Toti kiwe na kayo kanene. Baba. 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 Asanti sana. My only point ni atirili. Na James Masharia, uh, Joseph Masharia, aliongea kwa niamba yetu zote ambao tuko katika sekta ya MSME. Na muteti yako hapa, pia chama nuetu buwanamori wako hapa, zote katika Kenya tuko zaidi ya milioni saba. 7.4 million of us. Mbae tunafanya kazi, biashara ndogo. Na yule ambaye ame commit ana uwezo ana nia 
ya kutupiga jeki ni Raila Amolo Odinga Kio kuwale baba Nore ure Dreta kuetaja beno Nigena toshaja moke Kireti kuwo Toine ruweboro muwe Toshoke tuweteba DJ tuende kazi Rogama na maguru maku Rogama 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 Simama simama goja DJ Goja 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 simama Baba ni rafiki ya wasani Baba ni msaidizi wa wasani Ndiyo mana tuko hapa na yeye mpaka Teka kwa kwa huu Nemo kwa yeme li azimio Pas DJ Poine, weka volu Emudu kwa na kwa heria Wa ushwa mwudi mekanie Wa ushwa deche kwa mkoro Ine melio miuru ya adu Kwele ina wangutoria Nure ya umana na reinie Niga mwetelela opinio niya Weka mkono juu Toto anyo ni kwe omia Oha mwena razi angai Hila yede kwenda mundu Wago kwa ngoro Mikono juu Toto anyo ni kwe omia Ona nige kwe inya Hapo Hila yede kwenda mundu Wago kwa ngoro Koro jisu leo mirie Ame ya kore asia yeto Ne maria na jufufu Na maria asia ya kawaida Era duwe ni tungata Magade koro vodeka Makera nada kagide Tikahe Hapa tu baba Hapa tu Hapa tu Koto wanyo ni kwe omia Oha mwena rasi angai Wewe Ula yede kwa tamudu Wadu wangwa kwa hivyo rukwa Toto wangwa ne kwe omia Ona nige kwe inya Ula yede kwa tamudu Wapikele la baba DJ ya Sante ya Sante God bless you Asante ni sana Thank you Now Ladies and gentlemen No please Could you remain upstanding As we welcome the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Karibu sana. Hello. 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 And what the Kamuriaga? Muriaga Ringi. Asandani Zana Mnaveza Kuketi. Dengi Muno. Dengi mudo Tuna furaha Kurudi dhika tena Tulikuwa na mazungumuzo Na gavana nyoro Alafu tuka kubalina Kabla suja kuenda kwa mkutano wa muhadara Tupate fursa ya kongea na viongozi Badhika Wakiambu na muranga sasa manake unajua ukitaka daktari kitaka kutibu mtu mpaka apime sio nilipeleka anko yangu kwa daktari alikuwa mgonjwa sasa ni mzee kila shida gani anaanza kuambia daktari ya tu hii kitu daktari natoka hapa 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 chini hapa napanda kwa mgongo yangu na kuja hapa kifika kwa, kwa hapa kwa shingo yangu chungu sana lakini kifika hapa kwa kichwa mejenga nyumba hapa sasa mimi nimemeza dawa mingi lakini sasa naona hii sindano ninaweza kumaliza daktari anasema pana mzee lala fali sasa nachukua ile kitu anaweka hapa sikia kiherehere Apime vile e, damu yako ya kunatembea ingine sasa akwambie wewe weka hii kwa kopa hapa ingine chukua hii kwenda naye leta mkojo hapo tutatoa damu maana yake mpaka jue huu jamaa shida gani yake ni nini ni malaria au ni bilhazia au ni ukimwi au ni covid sasa sawa 
ndio sababu tulisema tukifika tusikie kwa kinywa chao wale viongozi wa Kiambu sasa tumesikia vijana wamekohoa wamesema shida yao ya vijana ni nini mingi sana ni opportunities for the youth ngine imekuwa ni people with disabilities vile mama ameongea hapa vile vile amesema shida ya wale wale mavu wako nayo ni shida ambayo sisi wenyewe tunayalewa amaongea juu ya mambo ya opportunities mambo ya ya pesa mfukoni tena akaongea juu ya mambo ya elimu sasa mama mboga ameongea juu ya mambo ya soko shelter katika masoko ameongea juu ya mambo ya ya pesa ya kufanya biashara na yale uh, uh, shida ambayo wa mama mboga wanapata wakulima ameongea juu ya mambo ya pesa ambayo ilikuwa na lipo ya wakulima ya, ya maziwa uh, ambaye au wakulima wa Kiambu wakupata tena akaongea juu ya mambo ya competition kati ya bidhaa ambayo inatoka hapa na ile ambayo inatoka nchi jirani hapa hiyo ni shida ambayo hata waziri ameongea juu yake tena kwa wale jua kali vile wameongea hiyo shida yao yale vile ambayo wanasema wanataka watu wa jua kali wawakilishwe katika county assembly national assembly mpaka senate na vile vile mambo ya matibabu wanako wanapata ajali mingi zaidi watu wa jua kali ah, sorry 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 ah, hiyo ni wa boda boda jua kali ni mambo ya access to capital hiyo unaweza kufanya biashara yao sawa sawa kama jua kali sasa yote tumeelewa sasa tumeelewa vizuri shida hapa mimi nimekuja hapa kama rafiki juzi tulikuwa huko nyeri nyeri kule tulienda tulalikwa na wazee wa kikuyu nikakuja pale na wazee wa kutoka upande ile ya nyanza na hata wakina mama tukakaribisha vilivyo ukarimu tuliona kule nyeri ilifurahisha kila mtu ilo rafiki ambao unaona ni genuine kabisa tukakula bosho hata tuka kula ile zingatuari eh mpaka hata ile muratina tukakunywa tuka hiyo ndio rafiki wale kutoka kule ziwani walikuja walikuja na samaki walikuja na ile samuli kutoka huko chini walileta vitu mingi kutoka huko 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 ziwani hii ni kuleta urafiki baina ya watu wa Kenya hiyo ndio sababu ninalizi fry sana sasa leo hii kabla sijafika hapa nilikuwa nimeongea na ndugu yangu mheshimiwa Rais Uhuru Kinyata. Aliniambia nikifika hapa nilete salamu zake. Unapokea? Unapokea? Pale tuko hapa tunaongea juu ya mambo ya azimio. Na hii azimio msingi yake ni ile salamu kati yangu na Uhuru Kinyata. Na hiyo salamu hiyo haikukuja tu namna hiyo tumekutana hapana Tulikuwa tumepigana kwa kiwanja kwa kiwanja kabisa tumesema maneno mengi ya kisiasa dhidi ya kila kila, kila moja wetu Lakini baadaye tukaenda mpaka mahakamani Sasa ikawa kuna 
chuki mingi baina ya watu wetu ofisi yake na ofisi yangu watu wetu tunafanya maandamano katika mji huko kila mji tena kasema boycott hatutaki mambo ya safari kom hatutaki hatutaki bidco hatutaki uh, brookside na kadhalika sasa haya yote yalileta shida mingi zaidi Uhuru wakaenda huko Kasarani sisi tukaenda huko Uhuru Park. Sasa mambo yakawa murao yenda murama. Wengine sasa wanaambia mimi sasa sababu wewe umeshapishwa sasa sisi tutangaze uhuru wetu tuanze kujitawala tuchukue ushuru kwa watu katika eneo zetu zote. Tuchukue picha zote za uhuru turundike mahali ya chome nikaona eh hiyo tukifuata njia hiyo napeleka Kenya Somalia uhuru kambiwa Raila ame ame ame, ame asi ile kitenda amefanya ni treason tumshike tumstaki tupeleke kamiti tumnyonge uhuru naye akasema ah hiyo itakuwa je wana mambo itakuwa mbaya ndio bado tukakubali kukutana tumekaa kwa kirefu zaidi tukiongea juu ya mambo haya yote tukaenda chini kwa historia imekuwaje sisi sasa wa Kenya kuna chuki mingi ya kikabila atimu kikuyu haweze kufanya na mjaluo kitu gani imefanyika tukaona wakati ile ambayo tulikuwa napigania uhuru Jaramogi na Kenyatta walikuwa kama uh, uh, chanda na pete wanalala namna hii mimi nimeona wakilala Kenyatta pale Jaramogi hapa kitu gani ilifanyika mpaka sasa kukamekuwa chuki namna hiyo maana hii imeathiri maendeleo watu wetu hawelewani watu wanapigana na pingana tunaweza kutibu hii ugonjwa kabisa bas tukaangalia tukasema kama wewe unaweza kusimama pale mimi nisimame hapa tushikane naweza kuunganisha hawa watu wetu wawe kama kitu kimoja turudia na hiyo ndio maana ya handshake. Tukasema hii handshake sio tu kuunganisha wakikuyu na wajaluo lakini makabila yote ya Kenya tuunganishe wewe kama kitu kimoja. Hiyo ndio maana ya handshake. Na ndio maana ya azimio. Na ndio sababu sisi tukafikiria tukaweka ile jopo kazi kuzuru Kenya, kuuliza maoni ili walete pendekezo wakaleta BBI lakini wengine wakaanza kupinga wanapinga atakuwa kitu mbaya na hii katiba katiba nzuri zaidi nyinyi wenyewe walikuwa watu wakubwa na 2010 wakati wa referendum kulikuwa nyekundu na green na yule msa nyekundu usijulikana alikuwa nani alikuwa nani? Sidi aliongoza wale ambao walikuwa napinga. Sasa nasema ati hakuna kitu mbaya na hii katiba ni nzuri sana. Sasa sisi tusema tunaweza kuboresha. A good thing can always be improved. Sasa sababu tukasema watu wengi wameona kama hapa vyetu inawafinya. Hapa mimi niko hapa najua nyinyi unajua napenda kitu naitwa one man one vote one man one vote sio kama tungepitisha bibi yae Kiambu county ingepata 9 billion shillings more ambayo imepoteza ama sivyo lakini hiyo rege imeenda tu half time 
Itarudi. Tutarudisha? Tutarudisha rege. Sawa. So, Nyinyi mnajua hapa Central. Ndio mnajua zaidi dhulumu ya mkebeberu. Hapa ndio mzungu alikuja alikalia kabisa akachukua mashamba kila mahali. Kutoka mlima Kenya paka mlima Elgon naitwa the White Highlands. Hapa yeye mnajua. Ana baada ya uhuru watu wakakaa mambo ya kusettle watu. Watu wakakaa settled. Hiyo mambo ya settlement ilikuwa chini ya Jaramogi. Jaramogi na mepleka watu huko pande na Ivasha huko Nakuru huko Ban Forest paka kule pande ya Eldoret hapo sasa ni sababu tukisikia lugha kama ati ya madoadoa madoadoa shetani shetani hatuwezi kukubali mtu kuita mkenya malingini madoadoa tunajua yale ambayo yanafika tumeona Baadhi ile watu walikuwa wanafanyika wakati ile wa, wa ethnic clashes 92 97 2002 tuliona Alafu tumekuwa hapa 2008 tumeona Tumeona mtoto akishikwa kama ametoka kwa moto anarudishwa ndani ya moto We cannot afford to allow that to happen again in our country It will not happen. It will not happen under Uru's watch and it will not happen under Baba's watch. Every Kenyan is a Kenyan and has a right to live in any part of Kenya. And you do not need to seek permission from any other Kenyan. Where they were talking is called Wasingishu County. Wasingishu is a clan of the Maasai. They are living in Tasmara. They were the original inhabitants of Eldoret and all that area called Wasingishu. They were removed by the colonialists to pave way for large scale farming in that area. So if you are talking about indigenous citizens of that area then go out to 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 to, to uh, Narok and get the one chin was in Gishu clan to go back and resettle where they are you cannot yourself you are a settler there and then you say kuna madoadoa madoadoa gani kuna madoadoa every kenyan must live in any part of the country ukikuyo naweza kuishi huko migori kule kwa Junet. Huyu Junet ni Msumali kutoka Mandera. Yeye ndiye mjumbe wa Migori Suna East huko Migori. Unaona hiyo? Shakil Shabiri iko hapa. Wapi Shakil? Alikuwa alikuwa around. Huyo ni Muhindi kutoka Pakistan. Ndiye mjumbe wa Kisumu town town east eh sasa wewe unasema mjumbe mwingine ambaye ni mwindi vile vile sema tarudi Punjab hiyo ni kitu gani hiyo ni kitu gani those kind of utterances are things we do not want to hear in a free and independent kenya everybody is a settler in kenya wajaluo hata wakalenjin walitoka huko pande ya ya, ya Sudan. Wakikuyu, wakamba na wengine walitoka huko pande ya ya, ya Cameroon Kongo huko. Tumekutana hapa. Tuko wa Kenya sasa. We are here not through invitation of anybody. We are here because we are here and because we are Kenyans. Kama sivyo hiyo ni mambo ya urafiki na ni sababu mimi na uhuru tulisalimiana mimi nimefanya na kazi na uhuru wakati tulikuwa na ile grand coalition government uhuru wanakuwa assistant minister wangu 
tumefanya naye kazi mzuri zaidi akawa minister uh, finance amefanya kazi mzuri kabisa pale katika wizara ya finance lakini katika ile tamu yake ya kwanza niona mambo yana sheta sheta ambayo haikuwa bila uhuru mimi najua kwa sababu alikuwa na kwa hiyo Hello? Hello? Inawezekana. Azimio. Azimio. Asante shetani. Najua ameshindwa. So as I was saying I said something was not right. Then now I got to know that Uhuru was being held hostage by forces who wanted him to fail and then to later on come and claim credit over those failures but you can see when he started now working properly in his second term there's quite a lot that has been achieved in terms of infrastructural development those with eyes the wale ambao wana macho wanaweza kuona now i want to assure you those kind of works which are ongoing will be continued everything else will be continued we know there are other things and we want to do more in this region has great potential people in this region are very good farmers about tea coffee parathram dairy farming now you have also uh, avocados which have also come potatoes uh, uh, flowers and so on and so forth people given proper opportunities in terms of inputs to the farms and also the marketing opportunities this area can be very very rich area and we do value addition to the, 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 the products coming from the farms. In the 70s, this town where we are today, Thika, was known as the industrial town. There was a sign as you enter the town there, you are entering your industrial town of Thika. Those industries died during that other period of time. But Dega can be transformed and become really truly an industrial city. I'm saying this as an engineer and somebody who has also really lived in an industrial city. And you know the kind of potential that the city has. So we can do very many things here in Dega and this will create a lot of employment for the people, particularly for the youth in our country. We are talking about massive youth unemployment. We need to give our youth proper opportunities. Proper opportunities. I mentioned that we're talking about first don't waste any child. 
the child will get equal opportunity irrespective of the socio-economic status of the parent. From the nursery, through primary, secondary, tertiary, up to university. To be able to be able to realize their potential. And after that, they should be able to get meaningful, gainful employment. Those who are seeking employment, not pushing wheelbarrows. But those who want to go into business, access to capital. That they can be able to get capital to start their businesses. This is the direction we want to go. And we want to work very closely with the people of this region. As I've been said, Raila Mkaragosi, a puppet of the rich, at the, oh, the people of Mount Kenya Foundation, Wanamunga Mukono, Mpeleka ASG, Uko Safari Park, at a puppet of the rich dynasty. No. What we're talking about is in any other society, there must always be those who are owners of capital, those who are working. But then, you do not deprive those who have in order to feed the poor. You give opportunity for the poor to also become rich. That is what we want to do. So we encourage those who are working, who are employers, to be able to continue to produce wealth, to pay salaries, good salaries, and pay taxes to the government, so that the government can provide services to the people. So we must be able to actually protect our other middle class, as we also encourage other people. China has been able in the last 35 years to move 300 million people from poverty to middle income status. We want our middle income group to grow. We want to grow our middle income group. So by giving more opportunities to the people. That's why in, uh, M SMEs, we say we want to give them access to capital and protect them so that they can be able to grow. That's what we are talking about. And in this, I think we are together. We are together. Are we, are we together? Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? So I don't want to go very much, much beyond this point. I just want to say, Mimi ni mekuja, ni mekuja kwa adoni. Simi ni mutoniwa. Eh? Niko hapa, juna yiko hapa. Well, Junior, this is Raila Junior, who you? I mean, oh, up, 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 Muranga. No, no, no. Now, you know, Fidel, I'll be able to talk about Kiambu. You mean, you can watch your coup. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. So, so, so. You're going to say that Raila is a good one. So, you're going to say that. Now, you're going to say Na Raila ni tinga tinga. Tinga tinga na wilbaru gani ambayo naweza kupanda milima zaidi? Eh? Si nitapanda mtapanda sio? Tuko pamoja na nyinyi, we will be there. We will work together and I'm sure when we we win, we get form a government, we will form a government together. So me, I'm not looking for followers, but I'm looking for partners. To the pamoja. Muko tayari? Muko tayari? Azimio. 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 Asante ni sana.